take three. Here we go. So before we start this tutorial, uh, that is going to be on how to get your track image into the game with the height data and get that sorted out math math mathematically and stuff. I wanna have a big shout out to this man, Alex Efforts, for making his original how to create a replica height map thing here. It's a really good tutorial and you should check it out even if you are looking at mine since he might explain in a way that I don't and that might suit you better and stuff. So um, yeah. Also I think we do some things differently but a lot of the stuff is the same and it's directly from his tutorials. So big shout out to him for taking the time originally and doing this stuff for us. So let's get in here. I have 2017 Kegums. I just want to notify you that if you are uh, in Google Earth, um, we there is a historical slider. I'm just going to see if I can reset the viewpoint sort of to get it directly above because Google Earth for some reason skews the view. Uh, but you do have view historical imagery and then you can see different images that's taken off the track in case you're looking for a specific version or you want some layout or something something uh, that didn't work but I am going to go with the latest one since that is the latest it's taking uh, four uh, 23rd of April 2014 so we can see here image rate date. If we change it, it should change here. So that's quickly uh, what to do there. Okay, so let's go to Google Maps. First off, we want to select the area here uh, around the track. So we right click and measure distance. Uh, can choose where to start. Drag the point, and we are going to see here so we want to have a bit around the track we want to keep we want to be outside of the track at all points have a little cushion so you don't have to ride the very very edge of the track uh, let's see we can do this I would recommend you not to go much larger than 540 meters if it's possible uh, because we probably want to scale the track up and I will explain that later but don't go too big don't do this this is just going to bite you in the end and that we do not want to happen so 540 meters and it suits it suits this track very well since we are going to be able to get a bit on both sides have a nice cushion uh, so we are going to write down 540 meters because we will need it later um, did I need that I don't think it do so 540 meters is one side now we're going to take the next one and that should be 1080 okay so we can see we can drag it up a bit here instead and I'm not going to do this and be super precise about it. I'm just going to do it on a rough estimation, rough scale. Get it about right. So 1.8 and we're that's 1080 meters. That's double. Let's convert this to feet since Sim uses feet. We have just search for a feet to meter and you will get up this Google calculator. It's super good to use. We should get 1771. For 540 I'm just going to get the rough stuff here so 1771 feet so we can I would say we should now get the image saved do not click that one down do not do that we need this one quite a bit here uh, first we're going to use snipping tool uh, that we do not want Snipping tool. Let's make a new one. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to go to point to point. Also, these two lines, try to make them as square as possible. I'm going to copy the image and we're going to open Photoshop. 
press Ctrl N as new and save or paste Ctrl V and with this what I mean is we want to have a cushion here you can see the track going around this way so we want to have a nice cushion to the edge just so we don't have to ride at the very end of the map or track or terrain because that looks very very ugly and sim and looks weird to get this perfectly squared we're going to use this selection tool might have any of those out but this is the one we want uh, we do not want to select we want to use style fixed fixed ratio one to one then we can see that we're getting a perfect square we want to take a good one a good picture or a good you just simply want to find the best place to grab the um, grab the image to make a new one so control C to copy control N to make a new one uh, you can see it perfectly squared that's what matters really right now control V to paste or you could just probably go to copy and paste here as well um, so this should be about 540 meters from each side and since the game doesn't really support every dimension we are going to image size constraint proportions yes we want to then we want to have 1025 or 2049 for at least a decal or overlay that's this bad if this would be the actual decal that's going to be used I would do another way if you check out my Teutschenthal stream I think the first part I showed a bit how to do that to get a higher quality but either way here let's okay that we are going to save this uh, save as we want a PNG file. We want to replace the terrain.png, and I have not done anything to this terrain.png here. So, um, yeah, just replace this one here. Uh, let's see. But if you have done anything to the terrain, you may want to have a backup just in case. So, we can see we have the terrain here. Just want to make sure that the sizes is right. So. 2049 times 2049 seems really good let's see so the next step here shoot shoot I made one mistake uh, doesn't matter right now but this should be called overlay So it's called overlay instead. Uh, basically, the terrain should be all black, but we'll we'll do the terrain later. Uh, just notice that you shouldn't save it as terrain.png, but overlay.png. So that is the image. Now we want to get on to get um, the height data. I'm using Google SketchUp 2015, even though it's soon 2017. Uh, so you can just go Google SketchUp 2015 free download. First link should be Google SketchUp.com or SketchUp.com slash download slash all. Then you just choose the 2015 Pro version download for Windows and install. You will also have to have uh, a script or plugin which I believe is this one right here it should uh, if you open the link it should say dot rbz in the end to like make it a ruby script and a newer ruby script uh, if you want to install that to google sketchup you go to tools you go to window preferences extensions and install extension then mine popped up here you might have to restart I don't know but we are going to add a location so you are going to get a Google Maps like thing up here dismiss then we are going to get the address or coordinates or something of the track let's see 
Google SketchUp, paste it, search, and then the track should be here somewhere. Here's the track. Select region, and it should fade or it should become white on the outside. That's normal. Uh, we are going to go back to Photoshop and look at this image and see which uh, region we want to grab. You can see that we have a bit of uh, area between this square and yep, the edge of the image. And this is just to get something so we can see about where it should be. We have one line, we have two lines, we have the black tree line. And that's about there I think. So at the moment I'm just looking at references to see where I'm going to grab. Then we can see we have a lot of brightness down here. And it should be in the intersection, roughly. And we can see we have a bit down, we have a white thing here, it still is, still is there. Let's make this a bit bigger. Um, go down even more. Intersection, that corner. And then I can see something here. And this looks pretty much good. At least don't zoom in too closely. That's a good tip for, for you. So grab. And last time we did this, my SketchUp crashed. It does not this time. Then we want to go to... You can also add a location here. Add location. I think it says that. Uh, we can have show terrain and then you get to see the terrain uh, how it is. As you can see this track has very very little height uh, differences. I am going to freehand this either way but for the sake of this tutorial I am going to show you how it's done here. So as you can see not very specific but good to know how to do So, uh, we are just going to try and get this straight. We are going to camera, uncheck perspective, and standard views, use top one. We are going to go to the extension, model to height map, and Alex efforts uses green, so I've used green because he does it. You can use whichever color you want, but I'll stick with green. Again, big shout out to him. I wouldn't know this if it wasn't for him. So, press OK. And we should save as uh, heightmap.bmp. Make sure you get .bmp at the end to make it a bitmap image. Choose the folder. I have chosen my personal one where I have everything else. Yes, uh, it will have a progress bar. It might lag out. It lagged out for me last time. Uh, does this time as well. But it should proceed in the background and you should soon get a pop up here indicating that it's done and you can proceed and do other stuff. Yep, here it is, letting you know that the image is uh, saved can go to folder here and see we have heightmap.bmp and we can see we have a height map here. Okay, let's go to Photoshop. Drag this onto the little bar here to open it. Um, <coughs> let's unlock the layer. I'm, I'm just double clicking the layer here. It should be unlocked. Um, let's delete all the green. Uh, sorry for my dogs in the background. I am however going to add one more layer, add it on the bottom here and fill it with a color. I'm going to choose black. So fill it and then we are going to rotate this one. We want to try and get it straight. Uh, Ctrl T for transform. 
uh, I'm pressing Alt and scrolling for zoom and then we can see it's it's almost straight this transform thing is a perfect square I would believe and enter to sort of okay and now we can see we, it follows all the edges very nicely when I press ctrl T uh, so I can des uh, just press escape since I didn't make any changes uh, I'm going to control click and I can choose copy I can choose it up here if I want to copy layer uh, then we want to make a new one and it's almost squared pretty good and then we can paste uh, edit paste so as you can see it's still a bit from the edges so I'm going to control click uh, to select whatever is in this layer then I'm going to uh, control T to transform then I'm going to have the 100% change to 101 on both sides just so I can uh, fill it up here uh, control D is deselect as you can see it fills out perfectly so uh, let's go here to image size again we want to have this 2049 since that's what our old terrain.png was but this doesn't match up and if you change this that one changes so uncheck constraint proportions and <coughs> make them the same 2049 it could be 1025 as well depending on the size you do but I always recommend using 2049 for real life stuff here also you might want to be able to check constraint proportions for other times if because I think it stays unchecked if you unchecked it so 2049 for both okay so let's save save as and this one you should save as terrain.png because this actually con contains the height data so terrain.png yes okay that uh, should be saved you can go here look at terrain.png and this time it looks correct so we do have the height map here uh, but we don't know really what size we have and it's all decided in this terrain.hf so what we want to do here is doing a bit of calculation so first off we want to figure out uh, this is the size um, we could actually do to make it align with the one above here we have this many feet and this many feet this is the actual size of the map of the image the terrain.png it should be 2049 pixels uh, but just for the calculation I have feet to meter so what we want to do now is uh, do we want it a one to one ratio no I always claim that a bit bigger track in sim uh, feels like real life and I want to scale it up with 15% so we are going to do 1.15 times 1771 so calculator calc so 1.15 times 1771 that is 2036 roughly and now we figured out how many feet it's going to be in game if it's figured out or if it's scaled up by 15% here so we basically added 15% to the real life uh, size or side size uh, so this is 1771 foot and as well is this side so we just added 15% to that and that is going to give us 2036 feet sides uh, while being in game um, so what we want to do now is calculate a sort of multiplier modifier basically second value in the terrain.hf file this indicates that it is um, 
2049 times 2049, the terrain dot png and the shading dot ppm. This one is what we want to calculate because as of now one pixel would represent one foot in game. Um, it's not going to be exactly that we want. We are going to do this is sort of calculate percentage again uh, as you probably learned in school. So you take the part which is this and you divide it by the full or 100% or whatever and then you get something. Uh, if this is um, smaller than 2049 or the value or the to p terrain.png size you have it should be 0 dot x if it's bigger it should be 1 dot x or eventually 2 if you have super big but that's a weird scale so let's do this on the calculator uh, 2046 times or um, let's redo uh, 2036 divided by 2049 gives us uh, 0.993655 yep that is six digits after the dot so basically what we did here is we calculated <coughs> that one pixel of the terrain of PNG should uh, represent 0 0.99 feet in game. <clears throat> that is basically what we did here. If you would have had a um, way smaller track where you would have, let's say, um, where each size would have been, size where each side would have been 231 meters, we would have done the formula. You know, done this is that so scale it up 231 times 1.15 just to show you for another track times 1.15 that is 246 or 265 <coughs> and then you would have Oh, this is super small. Uh, should have converted to feet or done something instead, but then you would basically have 265 divided by 2049, which would be very, very different. Uh, And that would basically just have been uh, if you would ha if this would have been the size uh, one pixel would have represented 0 0.1 feet in game. So you just calculate so it's it it's matching up with the image and overlay that you are going to use later on here. So got this sorted out here. Uh, then we're going to look at the um, height. Uh, so let's see, we are, this is again thanks to Alex's efforts uh, completely, because he showed how to do this in his tutorial, I would have been completely clueless otherwise. So let's open this and see about where our stuff is. So add path, and then you want to add a path, uh, starting with this corner, that's about here. I'm this is nothing specific that's I'm not as specific as I could have been uh, up here uh, to that point and this is about where it's on the down then you just circle or do this whole area like this you can if you want better results and more precisely how it highest and lowest point in this area you should do them closer together I just want to do it fast so you can see what is happening here uh, so here so 
So, and then you press OK, go to the path we created, show elevation profile, and then we can see that we have a minimum elevation of 42 feet and maximum of 49, so it is minimum, average, and max. And this is meters. Uh, so we have minimum 42 feet, we have max 59 feet, meters, my bad again. And if we convert 59 meters to feet, just quickly, um, tab 59, we can see that it's 193 feet. And that, if you have the gradient system, uh, in uh, sim and the gradients are here it will probably be up here somewhere and working with points this far up is not very precise you want to be able to use the gradients down here so we are going to set it to zero which means we are going to do uh, since we want this to be zero the smallest value uh, we are going to do set that to zero and then we're going to do 59 minus 42 that's going to give us 17 so that's 17 meters of height difference and we're going to do put in 17 here and we can see that it's 55 55 so that's going to give us 0 to 55 feet of difference if you want you could scale it up by 1.15 as well since we scaled the the width and length up we could scale the height up as well uh, in this case it's not going to matter very much since it's such a small I could just put this 16 that I would probably be 15 percent bigger roughly okay so let's see here uh, we have 0 to 60 foot and we open the terrain.hf zero since that's the lowest point we want to have zero feet and the highest point um, this is black on the terrain.png and this is white on the terrain.png it ranges now from zero to 60 feet here so let's see uh, that should be pretty much it uh, if we go to the folder I just want to make sure this is the right size as I had trouble last time I recorded 2049 times 2049 let's open up the track here and see no nope, we're actually going to do one more thing we're going to put in a decal we open the decal and uh, um, so let's see we are going to do where should we put the decal uh, since we wanted to cover the whole thing we have um, we decided that the sides are going to be 2036 and that divided by 2 is going to give us the um, uh, it's going to give us the center of the image uh, and that is going to be uh, I think That's it. So 1018 feet in there. So this is basically the X and Y axis. Then we have zero in rotation. Then it is going to be this size because this is the size of the image. How big it should be uh, from side to side. It's going to be 2036 foot and then it's going to be have a one to one aspect ratio. You can modify this to 1.5 or 0 0.5 if you have it have it another aspect ratio but just putting one here is basically like the image is saved then we have the reference we have 2017 Kia Gum uh, and then we have overlay.png I think let's see overlay.png save and now we should up open up the game and it should be correct i really hope make sure to open the game with the editor as well
Moment of truth, it will be choppy and it will be sketchy and squirrely, but that's okay. We'll take care of that later. And uh, we can see that we have the map in here. It looks about right. It covers as much as it should. Uh, and you can see that everything here is very choppy and it's not pretty and it's not good. You can't write it. So you could either blur the PNG in Photoshop, but I'm just going to do this instead. First I'm just going to, you can do this with smooth tool or tile map or something, but I'm going to put the same tile map all over the track to update the shaders to make it look a little bit better or potentially could. And then we are going to do smooth and we're going to have uh, one in focus, cover the whole thing. And I think pressing twice is what I usually do with the strength of three. That should give us roughly a smooth terrain. You can see there's small height height variations here. And I know they come around here and they're going up a hill somewhere around there. This is us going up a hill, tabletop. And it's a tabletop coming up here. And you sort of long downhill. Yep, I'm not too good at riding here, but that's how you get everything into the game. I might have been super fussy about explaining. I hope you could understand, uh, but basically, yeah. So once again, thanks to this man, Alex Efforts, for making the original height map. I don't want to rip it off, I just want to show the whole process I do, because I believe we do a few things differently. Uh, so. Yep, that's how you get your replica terrain into the track. If you have any comments, leave them. Please leave them in the comments so everybody can see. That would be really good. I'm going to leave my Facebook page. Uh, I do not always get notification about comments. So I'll try to leave the Facebook page if I don't reply in the comments. So you can hit me up there instead. So, I hope I made some sense and you learned something, and I will see you sometime in the future.